Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna show you guys a tutorial on how to Iron Tech Reavers on a controller and Dead by Daylight. Now keep in mind guys, this is a brand new variation. As you may know, a few weeks ago I made a YouTube tutorial on how to Iron Tech Reavers on a controller and Dead by Daylight but without a hand cam and the variation I used back then is way harder than the one I'm gonna show you guys right now. So this one works on PS4 on Xbox and even works on PC if you use a controller so also keep in mind guys this is a very rare moonwalk and also a lot harder to practice but the variation I'm going to show you guys right now is a lot easier guys and you will love this one so hold your controller guys and let's get right into it all right guys so before moving on and for everyone who is new to the channel this is how the Aron Tech reverse looks like or you can call it the JRM moonwalk the settings guys as you know me, I like to keep it short but very effective. Make sure your sensitivity is 70. No more, no less, just 70% is the perfect way to go. So for the first step is run in a straight line guys, as you can see right here. Also make sure you're looking up at your character, as you can see my camera is looking up at my character and I'm running straight. As you can see on the controller right here, I'm holding the running button, I'm running straight. I'm starting with the basics as you can see right here, then after you run straight, make sure you do a 180. So there's two variations of doing a 180. There is this variation, this is an easy variation of the 180 as you can see right here, but there is also an advanced variation as you can see right here. At the end of the day guys, it doesn't really matter which one you do, both of them are the same. If you like to do the advanced one, go ahead. If you like to do the easy one, go ahead. It doesn't really matter. As you can see again, the controls on how to do the 180. Okay, so for the next step now guys, follow with me. As you can see right here, I slowed the video down a little bit to make it a lot easier for you guys to follow along. So after holding the running button guys, and after doing your 180, you have to move your left joystick all the way up to the right side. Because my character will be moving to the right side, as you can see right here. So my left joystick is moving to the right side. But then again, you have to move your right joystick to the left side, as you can see right here, the opposite direction at the same time. So now I will show you guys real quick, hold your running button, move your left joystick to the right and your right joystick to the left and move them both same speed the opposite direction. But of course you have to keep moving backwards as well guys. So to make this happen, when you're moving both of your joystick the opposite di direction, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, your left joystick needs to be touching the upper edges as you can see right here. So your left joystick touches the upper edges while your right joystick goes left and right horizontally. So keep in mind guys, right joystick goes horizontally, left joystick touches the upper edges. So as you can see right here guys, I'm holding the running button, I'm doing the 180, I'm moving both joysticks the opposite direction, but my left joystick is touching the upper edges and my right joystick is going horizontally. As you can see right here again. So for now guys, let's put everything all together. So for the first step, you run. Second step, you do the 180. The third step, your left joystick is facing the right direction. But at the same time, your right joystick is facing the left direction. And then you move both of them same speed the opposite direction but while doing this your left joystick needs to be touching the upper edges while your right joystick is moving horizontally guys so that's pretty much it guys thank you so much for watching if you aren't already subscribed and you do want to keep up to date with all the dead by daylight moonock tutorials and videos please do consider it i'm putting quite a lot of time into making these videos and as you can see right here this variation is a lot easier than the one i uploaded a few weeks ago and we all know that there is a mid chapter coming with the new survivor movement but as i said if there is any changes on the moonwalk or any control changes i'm gonna keep you guys updated so without further ado guys that's pretty much it take care and see you in the next video